Welcome back to another video and today we're going to build us a haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> Alright everyone, just got home from Home Depot, uh, got material for the haunted house. Right here we have uh, two by threes, they're about uh, $2.50 each, got 60 of them. We also got some uh, two by three ten footers, and uh, these are eight footers, so these are ten footers, um, these will build uh, the walls. Um, we have some plastic sheeting, um, just your standard uh, paint protection um, used for uh, painting interior houses. Um, that will go on the roof and uh, some of the, the siding in the garage. Um, also got some uh, small extension cords right here. Um, also have some of these cable clamps just for some of the extension cords. Orange, yellow, pink, and green. Um, some paint brushes. Um, also got some roofing nails. The roofing nails uh, are for this um, medium duty weed control fabric that's going to go on the walls. So we'll be able to uh, cover the walls with this uh, weed protection, um, do a little bit of research, and uh, that looked like the best material to put on, on the walls. So um, this is four feet by 200 feet, so we'll be able to do two layers. Um, also have these deck tape, two one and a half inch five pound screws. All right, everyone. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rake up all the leaves um, to clear the path for the haunted house build, and then um, we're gonna start building the walls. So um, I'll show you guys a time lapse of that, and uh, let's get to uh, raking. All right, everyone, go ahead and uh, clear out the leaves from uh, for the haunted house build. Um, right now, I'm gonna build the walls, so I'll bring in all the lumber, and then um, I'll nail that all together, and uh, let's get to building.
Okay, so we uh, built all of the walls and we uh, painted them uh, to uh, weatherproof them for uh, future uh, haunted house builds. Um, so right now we're going to go ahead and nail some uh, weed control fabric onto the walls. So uh, let's get to uh, building. Okay, so I was able to build all the walls. We do uh, have them uh, some kind of uh, weatherproofing sealant, I think made for uh, decks, but um, also apply this black uh, fabric um, used for uh, weed control. Um, that way you definitely can't see through it. Um, either, either on the other side. But, uh, We'll be able to put these walls up soon um, and then we have uh, some other stuff going on um, spray painted some more uh, stakes that way um, people know where to, where to go and we'll line that up um, I'll show you some of the insides over here So right here we have uh, one of our rooms, so the tent will be one room. Pam put some uh, noodles up here and uh, we'll have two animatronics on here. Um, she put some uh, balls on some strings. Uh, we got some lights on the side right here. And uh, ideally people will go through to this next room, which uh, I'll have some black tarp to uh, edge off the side over there and then I'll go through this room over here or through the hallway and uh, this is where I'll have the walls through here so there'll be one wall here and it'll pretty much go all the way to the wood line and then I'll just keep walking and we still have to build most of the other stuff but um, we have some rain on Wednesday so a little hasn't been done on the walls right now um, and then they'll come through here and then they'll exit uh, on that side of the, the house okay right now we're gonna build some uh, individual walls so uh, let's get to building
name's Mariah. I'm gonna be going through the haunted house for the first time. It's still light outside, but there is gonna be a lot more content as the night gets darker. I don't know. Okay. So we're just gonna go through. Big clown. Okay, here we go. They turn on, but I'm not too sure exactly how. Okay. Here's our Beetlejuice area. So you guys can see how it looks that way. That's the end. It's going to be much better when it's darker and we actually have uh, the clowns in there scaring people. So tonight we will do another run through, probably with just a stranger or someone, maybe one of the kids out there so you guys can get a reaction to see how it is. Okay, um, Pam wants me to put on my costume now. Uh, we still have like three hours until everything goes down. Say hi. Hi. But I don't know, maybe when I'm in costume I'll show you guys right now but I mean you'll see me later all right everyone we are gonna do one more run through at night and uh, a little bit more in detail right here we have Linux in his Ghostbuster outfit um, right here we have wacky mole which is a new animatronic Pam got this year and uh, I believe there's a video out there so go ahead and watch that um, right now we're gonna walk through the balls uh, just regular balls right above me there is a black uh, lights which is pretty cool um, right here is a killer clown uh, and shorty so shorty is also another new animatronic uh, Pam got from uh, spirit Halloween um, come from the killer clowns from outer space movie made in 1988 so if you haven't watched that go ahead and watch that Next we're going to go through the pool noodles, also on strings, and uh, right here, another new animatronic Pam got this year, uh, Crouchy. Uh, I believe this was already open box item, which, uh, which is a steal because it's a little bit off um, the full price. Um, right here we have the projection. Um, I bought this projection probably a couple years ago, and it does Christmas and Halloween things. Um, so I just put it up just to, you know, give the, the trick-or-treaters a little something to look at. Next we have another swinging clown, which is on a uh, swinging uh, mechanism up above. Um, here is a uh, killer clown's um, item. I think I changed the batteries out because uh, it's not lighting up. But it, it did work at uh, one time. But you're going to go through the currents and you're going to enter the fog room. Um, right here you can see Anna kind of hiding and uh, they're you know, trying to scare me. Um, but we have three fog machines in here, two small ones, one big one. And uh, they're all, two of them are remote controlled. So um, this uh, definitely was a good room. Um, down below the flashing lights, they're just little strobes on battery powered. 
Um, and then over here, you got these uh, little lights, um, also found from Spirit Halloween. Up above me, you can see uh, these uh, dropping mechanisms. Um, they're just a dropping mechanism. You can put whatever you want on there. Uh, I'm definitely going to invest in those, uh, some of those next year. All right, once we pass the fog room, you're going to see uh, Pennywise, you know, sitting there. It's a dummy um, just to make uh, people think it's real. Um, then we got a Mariah in the closet right here. Um, she's uh, behind some uh, black uh, tarps and stuff and uh, scaring. Um, this next room, we go to the outside and uh, there's a little bit more of a, a fun room just to look at the props and stuff. Um, definitely just try to uh, get video um, right above uh, Pennywise. I do have a GoPro up there um, getting some uh, footage and uh, also had a fog machine but it uh, didn't um, work so I'm going to have to fix that later on. Um, just nailed a couple of signs um, up and around and uh, put whatever props we had from uh, previous Halloween builds. Um, just putting, putting them up just to fill this. This is our first year building this so we didn't have a whole lot of uh, ideas on well, you know, what to do but um, this after this first build um, we definitely can design a little bit more structure and theme but we're gonna roll uh, right on through um, right here you have Harriet Hustle um, a new animatronic that Pam got uh, this year she also was able to buy the original stand which is at uh, Spirit Halloween um, it was on sale um, right here just a couple of props um, hanging on the fence um, here we have uh, a new animatronic um, Pennywise that's in a sewer um, he'll pop out and uh, definitely got a couple of scares from uh, the kids so uh, moving along to our last room this is the Beetlejuice uh, theme uh, section and uh, had a lot of props that Pam got from uh, Spirit Halloween so we just made this room uh, um, Beetlejuice so right here we have an inflatable uh, sandworm and uh, hanging on here we have Adam and Barbara um, here's the, the new Beetlejuice um, animatronic that Pam got this year along with the sign and the light up uh, sandworms uh, up above him and next uh, all the trick-or-treaters will exit through the scary clown archway inflatable um, bought this year by Pam from Spirit Halloween well that will do it uh, that is our uh, Halloween build for 2021 first year um, if you guys are building a haunted house uh, please let us know in the comments down below um, if you enjoy this video go ahead and like subscribe and you know comment down below on what your favorite uh, room or if you guys uh, suggest uh, doing anything different thanks